Uh, so welcome back guys my name is Amlan and in today's make knowledge free campaign we look at secret developer settings for turning your android mobile into a gaming beast yes we look at those steps which can optimize your gaming performance on a samsung mobile now here i have the samsung m51 let's first enable developer options i need to head towards phone settings swipe from the top tap on the settings icon scroll down until i see about phone now here scroll down until i see software information Tap on bin number 7 to 8 times, prompted for screen pattern, and that's it. The developer option has been enabled. Now I head towards phone settings, swipe from top, tap on settings, scroll down until I see developer options. Now this is where I need to be in order to turn on those things that we have been speaking about. Now let's look at what needs to be done. Firstly, scroll down until I see networking. Now under networking, there is something called as tethering of hardware acceleration. What does this mean? I'm telling my phone, hey buddy, please don't keep using software for rendering everything. If you have some hardware unit available, please use that hardware instead. I don't want the software to be overworked and therefore I want to turn this on. Now suppose the phone has a graphical processing unit and if there are heavy graphics that need to be rendered or executed, well, the phone will now no longer look at the CPU. It will want to use the GPU. So that's what this thing, this neat little thing does. But before it also does that, I still need to go further down until I see like, you know, hardware accelerated rendering. What it means is use hardware for making fast rendering or execution of task. So I'm advising the phone to go ahead and use hardware in this particular case, the GPU. So like, you know, when there are heavy graphical images to be processed, like when you're playing high modern day games, like maybe NFS, Prince of Persia, or maybe different games. You know, there are so many graphical images that need to be processed. And what makes those things look real cool is like the GPU of your device. The CPU isn't built to kind of render those images. It's the GPU that's been built or natively designed to render those images. And also there is something called as anti-aliasing. This 4X MSAA stands for four times anti-aliasing. What this means is, Anytime when you play games and you may have seen like, you know, edges are not displaying properly, they are kind of broken or rough, roughened up or something like that. Well, this thing goes and kind of make those things smooth, curved and look cool and other things. But then again, eating up a lot of battery. In fact, so powerful is this feature that the phone will actually turn it off when you reboot the device because the phone will not want its battery to suffer. This too, Options can work greatly for games, but when you are not playing games, well, I will not advise turning them on. The last thing that you can also do is head towards the drawing options of your developer options and reducing the scale timelines. Now there are three scale timelines, window, transition, animator. What I mean is, you know, anytime you basically press on an app uh, icon or something, the time it's taking for rendering. Likewise, when you're inside a game, like anytime you press on characters and you see things happening, well, all those scale timelines can get reduced drastically if you can go ahead and just turn this timeline option and reduce it by half. So for each of this, I reduce it by half. A question may arise if I turn it off, well, it would become the fastest, but then again, it would really not become very usable. So fast, maybe even you can't execute. So go ahead and do these things. I mean, reduce scale timelines, allow for tethering of hardware acceleration. And obviously, please don't forget, to allow for GPU rendering and also anti-aliasing. But then again, all this for a fantastic game operation, but definitely very, very heavy on the battery. Well, you need to compromise on one for getting benefit on the another. Once your games are over, well, you can resort to whatever the normal settings were. This are like certain things you can do on your Android mobile. Besides also allowing for RAM increase in case you are having one of the newer Samsung phones. And I think your phone is just kind of transformed into a gaming beast. So let us know what your views are. And also if you find this tutorial, please do subscribe, share with your friends and family. Tap on the bell icon so that you get notifications of my work like this. And I will see you in the next one.